Hello everybody, this is Graham Anderson and today I'm going to be looking at a small game called Tinder Blocks. If you've ever been camping, you know one of the first things you need to do at a new campsite is to start a fire. And Tinder Blocks is a small dexterity game where you're going to be doing just that, trying to build the perfect campfire. The rules are all outlined on the back of the box. Draw a card, pick up the blocks, and place them on the fire without dropping any of them. All the pieces are small, and that means you're going to have to handle every piece with tweezers. So, will this be an essential item to take on your next camping trip, or will it just be unnecessary weight that will just slow you down? Let's get it to the table, see how it's played, and we'll come back for my final thoughts on Tinder Blocks. Here's Tinder Blocks set up. The campfire card is placed in the middle of the table, and the logs are placed on top. The rest of the wooden pieces are placed in the tin and mixed up, and place the tweezers beside the box. On your turn, flip over a card. If there's a single piece on the card, you must take the piece out of the tin and place it directly onto the campfire. It must be placed on existing pieces and must not touch the campfire card itself. Anytime you manipulate any campfire pieces, you must use the tweezers. If on your turn, you drop a piece onto the campfire card, or cause an existing piece of the campfire to fall on the campfire card, you're out of the game. Return any fallen pieces back to the tin. If the card you turned over shows multiple pieces, you can take them out of the tin with the tweezers, but place them beside the campfire card and build what the card requests. Once it's completely built, move the entire new structure onto the campfire. If a piece falls off before you reach the campfire card, it's okay. You can rebuild it. But, as usual, any piece falling onto the campfire card means you are out of the round and return the pieces to the tin. If you turn over a card with a hand symbol, the pieces on the card must be manipulated with your non-dominant hand. Otherwise, the cards work identically. The winner of the game is the last person standing. If you manage to go through the entire deck and there's still more than one person left, then all the remaining players share the victory. And that's how you play. Let's get back to see what I thought about Tinder Blocks. Theme and Components I'm just going to skip the theme, although it was fun, this is a mini dexterity game and the theme really doesn't matter. The components are fine. The wooden pieces are just that, your standard wooden pieces. The tweezers, they're decent and definitely flexible enough that I could squeeze the pieces without fear of breaking the tweezers. They do have a slight texture to them, but I'm not going to say that they're grippy in any sense of the word. The cards are decent quality and very easy to see what you need to do. And it all fits nicely back into the tin, so not bad. On to the gameplay. You've probably already made up your mind whether this game interests you or not. It is a simple, small dexterity game. Does it do anything new? Not really. It's a stacking game. Yes, the tweezers are something a little different, but there's only so much you can do with it just a simple stacking game. The cards are pretty straightforward. Using the alternate hand can make things a little trickier, and I would say we've never been through the entire deck. I mean, you start with such a small base, it's fairly difficult to get past a certain height. But then we found we just kind of wiped all the pieces, put them back in the tin, and started again. Most of our games lasted five minutes. So, would I recommend this one? This is tough. Due to its extremely small size, it can be easily be taken anywhere and played on an extremely small footprint. And it's great with the family. In that neat nice situation, I would say yes. But for me, I can't see this one hitting to the table too often. I did like the small size of the game and the simple rule set. I like that there was definitely a challenge to the game due to the size and the use of the tweezers. I am just not so sure on the longevity of this game, and due to its size, this is not one that's going to be hitting the table on a regular basis. I'm going to go for a larger dexterity game that gives me more variety in the basic stacking mechanism. So I'm going to give this one a 6 out of 10. I think if you're looking for a small, extremely portable dexterity game to play with a family, this is the game for you. If you don't care about the portability, then I think you can probably pass on this one. And that's it for the moment. Until next time, thanks for watching. Thank you.